there is still fury and outrage in Ferguson. Exactly a year after Michael Brown was shot dead, demonstrators once again confronted police on these streets and tensions rose dramatically. A sudden intense volley of shots left protesters and police alike scrambling for cover. In the chaos, it was hard to know what had happened or where the shots came from. Police later said a man they'd been tracking had fired at them and they'd fired back. He's breathing, man. Please get him some help. A man was seen on the ground close by, bleeding heavily from what appeared to have been gunshot wounds. Police say he's in a critical condition, but that their response was justified. There is a small group of people out there that are intent on making sure that we don't have peace that prevails. I don't know how else to say that, but that's just, that, that's just the bottom line on this. And that's unfortunate. This is something different. And we can't sustain this as a community as we move forward. Well, the death of Michael Brown had such a huge impact across America, really symbolizing the problems of race and policing. And the fact there is still confrontation now is also reflective of how many people feel nothing has changed. Those who earlier gathered in remembrance did at least feel there was more national awareness of the issues since the death of Michael Brown. But his family said that was of little comfort. At the end of the day, I still lost my boy. I, 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 I love that the people, some people are getting justice. But the way I feel is uh, I'm still hurting. We, the family's still hurting, you know. And the renewed violence here is a reminder that it's going to take more than a debate about race to heal the wounds that have been exposed across America. Aline McBrawl, BBC News, in Ferguson, Missouri.